All right, so it's October 1st. I just got home about 20 minutes ago and I'm getting all my stuff together for tomorrow. I didn't hunt today, I had to work. So I'm gonna hunt tomorrow in the same spot that I hunted opening day last year and shot a doe. It's a piece of public not too far from my house. So I haven't really scouted this year. No excuse for it, I just haven't done it. If the morning hunt doesn't work out the way I want it to, which I'll probably do this anyway, but I'm gonna hook up to the boat, throw the Piro in the boat, go launch and try to access another piece of public land that I wanted to hunt last year and never got around to it. Um, gonna mothership the Piro out there, drop the Piro, paddle across, and uh, I don't wanna give away too many details. You might try to figure out where I'm at. But anyway, that's the plan for tomorrow. And Sunday, Sunday will all be based on what happens tomorrow, so. see what happens um, first thing this morning when I got up in the tree I had a deer bust downwind of me and then about 10 or 15 minutes later could have been the same deer I don't know um, a deer I could say with 100% certainty it was a deer um, about 20 yards 30 yards from me in this thick stuff on my left uh, walking could even still be right here somewhere because I did not hear it. It got right here to my left to where I get the sound sounded like it was about 40, 50 yards away by the time I stopped hearing it and just boom, stopped hearing it walk. So it could be eating acorns. I hear acorns dropping in that general direction, which they're dropping all around me. And uh, I did find some pretty fresh deer poop five yards from the tree I'm sitting in which is part of the reason I chose this tree and I ended up taking a break in the dark and sitting standing at the bottom of this tree trying to feel the wind and uh, picked a direction that I wanted to hunt and of course the wind is blowing straight towards all the what would be shot opportunities if I was facing that way but I set myself up to put the wind in my face and I've only got like two or three 15 to 20 yard windows to shoot through and then over my right shoulder downwind of me I can see probably 70 yards which is no big deal that deer that I heard in the dark this morning walked didn't walk through any of these shooting windows at least I don't think it was dark but I would have been able to see it through there at least. So I'm gonna have to really pick my shots in here. I tried to get on it as fast as I could. I don't know if y'all could tell, but there's a doe past like 40 yards to my left. It's so thick right there. I just so happen to be looking that direction. Boom, all of a sudden she's right there walking through the only window I can shoot through. But that's all right. 8.30, that's the first deer we've seen today. I think I need a new push pole. Let's do this. Alright. 
So I made it to where I wanted to get. I actually made it here a long time ago. I've just been focused scouting like I forgot to do an interview. So anyway, made it here to this island on a 500 yard paddle. And it looks like it might rain on me. Hopefully it rains either before or after I paddle. That would be nice. Got to the boat launch. It was flooded, completely flooded. So I had to get out the truck and look for it. Are we good? We got it, bro. We're out here. Basically, this huge patch of mangroves when I got out of the boat. What side did I come on? The west side. Walked the west side, saw a bunch of pig tracks, a few deer tracks. Got to the east side of it, or the east, the north side of it, so I could look at the east side if I want to see what it looked like. But it seemed like the further this way, the further north I came, the less tracks I saw. So I'm gonna go back to that corner and I'll be right by the Piro where I was. That's good. <clears throat> Alright, so what I've done is come back to the Piro and I'm gonna stand on this bank because it's higher than the inside of this whatever this is. I don't know if this is some kind of structure or whatever but basically I can see far enough to where I'll be able to do like an observation watch tonight just to see if I can figure out what the deer or the pigs are doing right now it looks like the pigs are going to walk 10 yards from me if anything happens tonight it's going to be right there because that's the only fresh tracks I didn't want to walk around too much get my scent everywhere so what I'm going to do is just stand here the rest of the night I might end up having to leave a little early because it's looking pretty nasty around here but I like the way the wind's blowing straight in my face blowing hard keeping my noise and my scent away from the animals so we're good let's see what happens <coughs> it's finally starting raining it's like a nice light rain so hopefully it gets the animals up on their feet I haven't seen anything and I've been I think last time I updated was probably 30 40 minutes ago and it's 4 15 right now so we got a good two hours until the sun sets so we'll just keep staying in here see what happens according to the weather it's supposed to storm here in about 45 minutes so I'm gonna make a run for the Piro I mean for the boat So I did not this morning, um, hunted yesterday afternoon in that marsh and uh, I came to a spot on some public this evening and with the plan of hunting a south wind, I normally would never come into this area on a south wind, but I had a different spot that I could get away with on a south wind and I'm out here now and there is a north wind. So I'm just kind of going to hang out in this spot for a second and see if it's just swapping back and forth. Then I'll make up my mind where I want to go. Both spots aren't too far from each other. One is I'm hunting a bedding area that I know is a bedding area. And the other is just, it's a small thick spot. See, now we got a south wind that I've seen deer come out of before. And I'm trying to be real quiet coming in here because I know I'm not far at all from where the deer are bedded or I can hunt this south wind spot so man I'm gonna have to just wait here for a little while and see what the wind does all right I'm finally set up rained all the way from the time I started setting up to when I got up in the tree 
which is a good thing because I just got done walking around right here. There's boot tracks and deer tracks and fresh acorns on the ground. I know who the boot tracks are from and that fella said he didn't see any deer right here open in day. But he, he's hunting like probably get two or three hundred yards from where I'm at right now. One set of tracks was fresh. But like I said, this is just for the sake of me coming out and hunting. I just want to go hunting. So we're going to sit here tonight. I got a big bedding area behind me that the wind is blowing straight towards. And a bedding area straight out in front of me, which is basically a field with privet in it. And then to my right is this big field, and it looks like the privet's growing up pretty good. And uh, there's an old trail on my right, older tracks on it, which I should be able to spin. Spin to my. Just saw something back there in that field. I don't know what that was. Um, but I should be able to shoot over my left shoulder at that trail. And then off to my left where all that fresh acorns are. And a couple tracks here and there. Nothing real crazy. We just had this hurricane come through. And uh, looks like somebody picked up a piece of rubble right here. And leaned it against a tree. Must have been that fella the other day. But we're going to sit here tonight and see what happens. I've had good success here in the past. Seeing deer. I haven't killed anything at this spot just because I had already killed a deer. Just didn't want to shoot one. Alright, this is going to sound crazy, but the wind is settled west-southwest. And west-southwest is perfect for where I really want to be. So, it's 5.15 right now. Sunset is like 6.35 or something. But I'm going to get down as fast as I can. Just carry all my stuff over there. Probably 150, 200 yards back. I'm gonna hunt there the rest of the evening. I know there's always fresh sign there. I haven't been to it yet this year, but it can't be any worse than where I'm at right now. So I'm gonna go check it out. All right, so I switched spots. And as soon as I got over here, I started noticing imprints in these pine needles right here. And as soon as I got up the tree on this fire lane right here, I could see there could be a little drainage or it could be a trail, I'm not sure, but if it's a trail, it's like in the perfect spot. I've seen deer use it, I've seen deer cut across it in the past, so this is like where I wanted to be, but the wind was just terrible, it was blowing right into this thicket. And it's actually switched up, so it was a south, no, it was a west-southwest wind when I decided to climb down. And when I got over here, it's blowing west more than anything, so that's perfect. Straight down this thick, I mean, I'm threading the needle right here, but feeling pretty good about it. Something coming up behind me might smell me. Something com coming from in front of me. <sniffs> Toast. Well, that's it for our opening weekend. Uh, pretty good weekend actually this morning I did not admittedly slept late but that's all right stayed up too late and slept too late overall pretty good weekend only action I had tonight was something walking over here in this thick stuff I don't even I, I don't even know if it was a deer it wasn't really clear it's just rustling in the leaves After dark, for whatever reason, the wind started coming out of the south again, so. That's it. See y'all next week. I'm trying to make something happen here soon.